All experts in this disease would agree that where cardiovascular disease has its inception, its onset, its beginning, is when we progressively injure the life jacket and the guardian of our blood vessels, which happens to be that delicate innermost lining, the endothelium. And what truly makes the endothelium so magical is the molecule of gas, nitric oxide, that it produces, which is the great protector and salvation of all of our blood vessels because of its remarkable functions. For example, nitric oxide will keep all the cellular elements within our bloodstream flowing smoothly like Teflon rather than Velcro. Number two, nitric oxide is the strongest blood vessel dilator in the body. When you climb stairs, the arteries to your heart, to your legs, they widen, they dilate. That's nitric oxide. Number three, nitric oxide keeps the wall of the artery from becoming thick and stiff or inflamed, protects us from getting high blood pressure, hypertension. Number four, and this is the absolute key. Number four, a safe and normal amount of nitric oxide will protect us all from ever developing blockages or plaque. However, anybody who develops cardiovascular disease, whether they're in New York, Chicago, London, Berlin, it's because in the previous decades, they now have so sufficiently trashed, injured, compromised, and turned their endothelial system into a train wreck. They no longer have enough nitric oxide to protect themselves from making blockages and plaque. But the good news here is this. This is not a malignancy. And once you get patients to stop ever again, passing any morsel through their lips that is going to further destroy an already train wrecked endothelium, then rapidly the endothelial system recovers, makes enough nitric oxide so you know not only can you halt the disease, but often will see significant elements of disease reversal. Now, you're probably asking, what are the foods that every time we eat them, <laughs> we injure the endothelial cells? Any drop of oil olive oil, corn oil, soybean oil, safflower oil, sunflower oil, coconut oil, palm oil, oil in a cracker, oil in a piece of bread, oil in a salad dressing. Oil injures endothelial cells, as does anything with a mother or a face. Meat, fish, chicken, fowl, turkey and eggs, and dairy, milk, cream, butter, cheese, ice cream and yogurt, and sugary drinks, diet colas, Pepsis, Coke, I don't like sugary foods, cakes, pies, cookies, stevia, agave, excesses of maple syrup, molasses, and honey. And uh, for the patients who have heart disease, too much saturated fat, I do not like avocado, nuts, peanut butter, and cashew sauce. And be careful of coffee with caffeine. Decaf, okay. Coffee with caffeine, not okay. My name is Dr. Caldwell B. Esselstyn, Jr., and I work at the Cleveland Clinic Wellness Institute where I direct the Cardiovascular Disease Prevention and Reversal Program.